I just got my Westinghouse 235 watt solar kit just uh, was delivered and I carried it back up to the backyard, it wasn't too heavy the uh, shipping guy helped and just like to op open it up here so this is the Westinghouse panel you see I'm going to pull this forward a bit it's the Westinghouse panel and here's the kit of uh, accessories I'll take a look at that in a minute and the Westinghouse panel there's a junction box and the end phase inverter that it comes with uh, all Westinghouse panels have that integrated and this rail is convenient you can use the the, the, uh, the frame kind of doubles as your mounting rail which is really nice innovation they have alright so this is the Westinghouse panel here and it comes with those uh, styrofoam strips that kind of protect it so this is just the front of the panel so we'll go over here and look and get into this kit I'll open it up Okay, so here's everything that came out of this this box that shipped with the solar panel. Uh, first and foremost, you get these uh, flashing plates here for mounting onto the uh, roof if you want to do a roof mount install. Uh, you get these L feet. It will mount mount to the flashing plates so you get you get four of these one for each plate and then those would attach to the, uh, the solar panel you get cable for the end phase so this end would connect to the end phase inverter and then this these wires will then get connected into your um, 240 disconnect box And this, uh, the end phase is because we designed the daisy chain end phases. The, the end phase that's on our Westinghouse unit has another free terminal that will get this end cap. And that's all you need to go uh, electrically. And you can you can find your own uh, disconnect, fuse disconnect, or breaker box at the uh, at a Lowe's or Home Depot. They're pretty cheap, you know, somewhere between ten to thirty bucks uh, for a a disconnect, a breaker disconnect, and then you get these tools here. You get a little uh, nut and the uh, grounding connector that will bolt on the side of the the solar frame. You get the customized Westinghouse uh, tool here. You get this uh, the spline. for uh, bolting onto the next adjacent solar module. And you get the lag bolts. These lag bolts would then be used with the, uh, with the flashing plates. And uh, you get the washers. And these bolts and nuts would be used with the L feet. It's a pretty good kit. It's everything you need to get started. And they're stackable. So if you kind of like this uh, Westinghouse kit and you wanted to get another one, you could just uh, buy another uh, unit and stack it on and just uh, continue to do so. Uh, building up your solar array as you go. And that's it.